Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you exactly two different ways of how to screenshot on your iPhone with broken buttons, without any buttons, whatever the case is. There's a couple of different ways to do it, but here are the two main ways. So what we want to do first of all to screenshot without any buttons or broken buttons, whatever, we want to make our way over to our settings app. And this is the most universally possible way to do it. This is the way that I would have done it on an iPhone 6 to an iPhone 12 Pro. We want to make our way down to accessibility, which is right here. And then what we want to do is we want to click touch, which is right there. Then we want to go and click assistive touch and we want to enable assistive touch. And when you see that little toggle, it's going to be this little, little toggle that comes up like this. All we have to do is pretty much click on the toggle like this. You want to click on device, which is right there. You want to click more and you will see this little screenshot toggle right there. So all you have to do is click on screenshot and you will see that it will automatically take a screenshot for you. And you can do this with literally any app that you want. So if I'm here, click here, click device, click more, and then click screenshot. And you can configure that to even, you know, if you want the first button here, for example, to be screenshot, you can go and do that too. It's a very, very easy thing for you to do. So that's the first way to do it is to pretty much enable assistive touch in your settings and then go ahead and pretty much move on from there. And that is honestly one of my favorite things to do. Assistive touch is like an OG thing in my opinion. Now let's say you don't want to do that or whatever the case is, it doesn't work out for you. Well, if you have a phone like an iPhone 12, an iPhone 10, I think an iPhone 8 as well, any iPhone that supports back tap, there's another way to do it now too. So it's a very, very easy way, just like how I just mentioned with assistive touch. And it takes pretty much the exact same thing, but it's even easier. And you can literally just double tap the back and it'll go ahead and take a screenshot for you. So in order to do this, what you wanna do is you wanna click on your settings app. You wanna scroll down until you see accessibility, which is right here. And at this point, what you wanna do is click touch. So click touch right here. And you want to go ahead and scroll down until you see back tap. So back tap is right here. You want to go and click there and then what you want to do is you want to make it either a double tap or a triple tap so if you want to double tap on your device it'll go and screenshot but if you want to triple tap you can go and make that same thing as well so you want to go ahead and click double tap which is right there then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click screenshot which is right here and once you go ahead and click screenshot you will go ahead and see that when you double tap around the apple logo on your iphone again it has to be a phone that supports back tap you will see that it'll actually go ahead and screenshot so let's go ahead and double tap it so i'll double tap like this and you will see it just took a screenshot on my iphone how cool is that it's literally the most basic thing you can do but it's a very cool functionality so again if you want to go into whatever browser it is you go ahead and double tap the back just like this it takes a screenshot and that's pretty much it if you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So me so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.